Thunder over Louisville is back for year number 33. And after two years of being abnormal, restaurants and bars in the downtown area are expecting a record day. Yeah, it should be pretty, pretty crazy. So that's what we're hoping. <laughs> We know the crowds are going to come out. Everyone's been waiting and expecting, and now here it is. Uh, Louisville's back alive. Back alive and thriving. The crowds headed to downtown Louisville tomorrow are expected to reach over 800,000. And downtown restaurants like Birno's Pizza are geared up to serve the masses. You know, we order probably twice as much as what we do for a, a normal uh, day, but and then some. And we've ordered plenty of alcohol also because people are going to want to have a pit stop and join that. So uh, just kind of prepared all around. And after a two-year slump from COVID, restaurants have already seen an increase in demand. It was like a light switch uh, the last couple of weeks uh, once the city came alive. And then, uh, you know, we're expecting Saturday to be that day. Um, uh, so to speak. Uh, definitely par levels for alcohol has gone up, food's gone up. Um, it was definitely a big transition uh, getting back to what we call normal. Regardless of the transition, downtown is ready to host one of its biggest events of the year. We're just open and ready to take care of people. Especially with 85 degree weather, I mean, how can you beat that? Get downtown, wander around, support some local businesses, get some drinks, get some food, enjoy the day. It's our day, Louisville. In downtown Louisville, Addie Miners, WLKY News. Addie, thank you. Thunder is expected to bring in an estimated $56 million economic impact to the city and surrounding areas.